Hey everybody, we are at Superstition Mountain. Mike is uh, Mike Malaska, top 100 teacher in the country, according to Golf Digest. Uh, we are here uh, about to do this putting thing. He said there is something that he can tell if somebody is a good putter or not based on these two things. So, just getting some uh, tools out. So this is the clubhouse and those are the Superstition Mountains. This is really cool because if you guys have seen this channel, in just the last three weeks I've been in California, Virginia, Mississippi, and now Arizona. All for the channel, all for really this thing called the source of power that um, a lot of great teachers are taking part in. So let's do this putting thing. When we were on the range, I mentioned to Mike that I'm a good putter, and I, I might have gotten myself in trouble for, <laughs> for telling him that. Uh, but uh, regardless of what he tells me, it's not going to hurt my confidence. <laughs> I'm a good putter. Well, that's, yeah. I mean, first of all, confidence in any part of the game is probably the most important. Yeah. You know, so, but, but what I have found is there are, there's a number of things that I find very constant in really good putters. Okay. And it's something that I got away from when I was a kid, and I was a really good putter, and then I never was quite as good, and now I'm a much better putter than I was for my whole career for, okay. for only two reasons. One particular, but I'm going to show you two of them. Okay. One, we have a line on a ball here. Yep. Okay? Everybody talks about putting is about speed. I would agree. Yeah. Okay? You have to be able to control speed, because if you ask me how this putt's going to break, I'm going to ask, I'm going to say, how fast is the ball going to be going when it gets to the hole? If you go, I don't know, I'm going to say, I don't know how much it's going to break. I right. could give you general, but I couldn't say right edge, left edge, okay? Yeah. So how do we control speed on the ball? Well, if you're going to practice, you have to know, if you're trying to learn speed, you have to know that all of the energy that was in the putter head got into the ball. So the way to figure that out, when you make a stroke, I've got this line on the ball. Everybody on tour can do this. See that line? Oh yeah, end over end. It doesn't it wobble at all. Line. Yeah. Now, at 12 feet, if you take a machine and you hit a putt, mm -hmm. and you hit it when the line rolls perfect, and then you adjust either the path or face so the line wobbles about a quarter of an inch, you lose about six to eight inches of distance. Okay. Okay. Now, so, so that wobble is coming from what? It, either the from face the was face open or shut, the path was or, off. Or the path was... So all the energy yeah. that was in the putter head didn't get into the ball. Mm -hmm. Now, if it wobbles half the ball, you're losing maybe 8 to 10 inches of distance yeah. on a 12-foot putt. So yeah. the most important thing is that you're able to hit the ball and make the line roll because you're yeah. transferring energy into the ball. Yeah. So let's uh -huh. see if you can do that. Yep. So, so let's put, see if I hit the, uh, the old wobbler here. Well, so or the end over end one. Right. So all you're doing, we're no target in mind. You're just seeing if when you hit the ball, mm -hmm. can you make the line roll? Yeah. Yep. The greens are slow and very good. A lot of pressure on you here. Oh yeah. Okay. So perfect. So what that says is your path and face control. So if you didn't see, I got a pretty good. It was perfect. Yeah. So what that's saying is you, you have the ability to run the club face into the ball, straight mm -hmm. into the back of the ball, and all the energy got into the ball. So you're So gonna, at this point, I can I can judge pretty good. You know, I can just, trust the with the distance that I'm putting. Right, yeah. because you're getting and when most guys on tour now, they all they use the line a lot. And mm -hmm. when they're putting on the putting green, sometimes they don't, but they use the line a lot to help them see line, but then to see how solid they struck the ball. Yeah. So they learn from it. Yeah, it, it has some the training of them, aid that you're some of them, use, yeah. Yeah, Exactly. Some of them don't necessarily watch the line from a make the line roll or their target line, but yeah. they observe how the ball rolled after they hit it. And oh, yeah. so it's, it's always telling them how well they're rolling the ball. Mm -hmm. If you can make that line roll all the time, your stroke has to be pretty good. Okay. So if you can't, you better figure out what's making it not roll. And you better figure that out because if you can't do that, you can't control distance, which means you can't read the putts correctly. So somebody needs to figure out, is my face getting off? Or whack, my path. Or my path, or both. Or a combination. Yeah. And there's ways to do that. Now, here's the other, and I think... There's part two. Of, part two. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people, when I put a ball down and you aim the line, will say, this is a straight putt. Yeah. And here's what they will tell me. They'll say, I put the line down, so it's aimed at the straight in the hole, and they come up here, and they get up over the ball, and they say, well, I never have been able to do that, because when I get over the ball, the line doesn't look right. Yep. Or the spot that they picked in front of the ball from back here, when they get up here, the spot looks wrong. Yeah, and then you see a lot of foot shuffling. 
And then, yeah. exactly, and then the, the, the sports psychologists say, well, just trust it. Yeah. Okay, we're back to your subconscious. What happens? Right. Your, your conscious mind says, trust it, trust it, trust it. And you get right about here under any pressure, and your subconscious goes, eh. Yeah, but I don't do that. And it just gives <laughs> right, it right. just a little bit, and yep. that little bit's enough to miss it. Yep. So we have to make sure that if the line looks good here, it looks good here. Yep. So why doesn't it? Okay, well, we're going to test you and find out how good you are with your eyes. So okay. here's what we're going to do. We're going to move back to about 10 feet. Yep. 12 right. feet. So here's what we're going to do. We could actually take a string or a chalk line yep. and put it right directly above the ball and then put the line right into the middle of the hole so that we know that where I'm going to put this tee yeah. about this far in front of the ball. Check so this we, out, Jason. Mm -hmm. So we know that if the center of that ball yep. goes over the center of that tee, it's going to go in the center of that hole, assuming this is a straight putt. Yep. Okay? Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's right. Let me get back here. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Yep. Now come back here and look at it for me. See if I agree with this. Let's get it perfect. This is why I use a line in the morning, because I, I put a spot here for the ball, and I put a tee there right directly under the string, so we know but if that ball goes over that, it's going in that hole. Yep. Is it good? Or do I need to move it? No, it's really straight. It's okay. really good. Yeah. Right now, here's what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to go ahead and set up to the ball. Okay. Do your normal setup. You get all ready to go. Track with your eyes. Now, this is a straight putt, so you're tracking a straight line from the ball to the hole. Okay? Got it. Now, when I move my hand, you tell me if the T looks like it's on the line that you track. Okay. No, the T is left of it. Well, we know the T's right. Mm -hmm. So something's wrong. Yeah. So your eyes aren't seeing line correctly. Now, you may be a good putter, yeah. but you've somehow learned how to make some compensations. I, Does it look like if this ball went over that T, it would go in that hole? No, it looks like it would miss left. It wouldn't, it wouldn't touch the hole. Okay, all right. So, it, so. Yeah. So what you're dealing with mm -hmm. is you're dealing with this. Your eyes, his eyes think the line is here yep. and the line is really here. Yeah. So if you actually hit the ball where your eyes think, yep. you're going to miss the hole. Mm -hmm. So you figured out somehow over your career how to kind of compensate for that. Yep. Now all these guys that I work with that are superstar putters, most of them, a few yep. aren't, but most of them, when I move my hand, that tee looks like it's right on their line. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, so here's what we got to figure out with you. Yeah, so how do you get somebody more lined up to reality? Exactly. So yeah. here's what we got to figure out. And here's what you'll see with most players. I know the, the, that's right. I know the T's right. So I come up here, and if I'm going to make a practice strike, I make it. But before I set the putter in, the first thing I do is I set my eye right there. Right there, my eyes are in a position for me yep. where it looks like if that ball goes over that T, it goes in that hole. Oh, okay. So now I've established so some like how where your eyes are in relation to uh, this way and this way yeah. to get it to look correct. Yeah, because yeah. it's got to look correct. Because mm -hmm. if it doesn't look correct, your subconscious is going to correct. Yep. So if I put my eyes when I started when I was a kid, I putted from right here. I had a bull's eye that was flat, and I stood here. My eyes were clear in here. Yep. But I could make everything. Yep. Then somebody got a hold of me, and they said, "Oh no, no, got to be right. Got to get you over the line." Yeah. Well, when I get up here, uh -huh. it looks to me like if I hit that ball over that tee, yep. it looks like the ball's going to go right here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, my subconscious, so I'm standing here and I'm thinking right here that, that that spot or that line is left. So right at the ball, what, is, what does my subconscious do? Well, it, uh, it'll kind of try to get it back online. Yeah. If I get my eyes in a position where right there, where the ball looks like if it goes over that tee, it goes in the hole. Now as I'm making my swing, my subconscious is not going to make any corrections because it knows it's got to go over that tee. So I'll, I'll stay committed to the ball. Okay. So walk up there, even without your putter, yep. and bend over, put your right foot in, and find a spot where it lines up. If it's a behind or in front of or tuck your chin or something, it'll all of a sudden make the, the tee line up. Mm -hmm, got it. You got it. Yeah. Okay, now you're not going to move your eyes anymore. Now, now you take the putter. Mm -hmm. Now aim the putter. Now set your body up to fit comfortably, but don't move your eyes. Okay. Okay, go ahead, set up. That's where you should be. 
That's now you're further away from the ball. Yeah, I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, but all we did is we put you in a position where your eyes see line better. Your subconscious is comfortable with this line. Yeah, it is. Well, now you'll be able to hit it down, it, okay. especially under pressure. Gotcha. Okay, so let's do it with the line on the ball. So here's mm -hmm. how these guys on tour do it. So they take a putt, they say, okay, it's a straight putt. Yeah. So they aim the line straight at the hole. And you'll see them do this a lot. They come back here, and they'll do this. They're not plumb bobbing. What they're doing is they want the line at the center of the hole, so they'll they'll put the line right here. Yeah. And they close their eye and they say, okay, that line is aimed right center of the hole. So then they'll adjust the ball just a little bit. Yep. Now they know the line's right. So I know that line's the center of the hole. So now I come up here. Mm -hmm. Now I don't take practice strokes. So for me, yep. I come up here and before I ever set the putter in, the first thing I do is I go, I know the line's at the center, right there. So I nap, right, boom, right there that line looks center. Yep. Then I aim the putter. Then I set my body up to fit, don't move my eyes, and then all I do from here is roll the line. Yeah. Okay? That's the process. If I do that, I made it. Yep. It doesn't matter whether it goes in. What matters is I found a line, saw the line, hit it down my line, made the ball roll. Yeah. If you do that, you made the putt. Mm -hmm. Outcome, you're into process here and how you commit to the process, not the outcome. If you're into outcome and putting, you're going to putt terrible. Yeah. So step one is get the, the ball, get the ball rolling end over end before we get into anything else. That's the more important step, you would yeah. say. Yeah, because if yeah. you can't do that, you, you're not going to be able to judge distance. Oh, right. And then step two is almost kind of like they have in video games and other things. you got to recalibrate your, your uh, alignment, your right. personal alignment. Right. And do it uh, through that little drill that we saw here. And uh, uh, practice-wise, what are some of the, what's like the best like drill for people always ask me, the only putting question I ever get on the channel because people want to hear full swing stuff is uh, people get very nervous about uh, making putts like from like the length of their shadow and in. So like six, six foot and in putts. Okay, so again, so these putts right here, mm -hmm. the biggest reason that they struggle with these is first of all, they don't have no relevance to line. They're kind of looking at the hole. Yep. Well, if you put the line down, now this putt from the last one, it's gonna break a little bit to the left. Yep. So I've got the ball aimed left center. You head, go ahead and do this. Okay. And I'll show you how good players putt. Okay. So you know that's about left center. Yeah, that's a good line for it. So you walk up. Mm -hmm. You know the line's right. Mm -hmm. So before you put the putter in, you get your eyes where the line looks good. Oh, so you can, yeah. So if you have a line on your thing, you can do this on the golf course. You don't really? need to like set up a tee and everything. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Legalized cheating. Yeah. Okay, so now, are you ready to putt it? I am, yeah. Okay, roll the line. Just roll the line. Kerplunk. Okay. There it is. So, you were more involved there. Yeah. You, you saw the line, you aimed the line, mm -hmm. you made sure it looked good, yep. then you rolled the line. Yep. The ball goes in. Yeah. When you get off is when you start looking to the hole trying to make it, you get out yeah, of the sometimes, process. Sometimes, especially under pressure, your last look is to the hole. Is at the hole, and you're like, oh man. Oh, no. The consequences if I miss this. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, but that doesn't help you. No, so so again, people say look at the ground. No, not necessarily. You're just making a stroke. You're just feeling and you're rolling the ball. Because mm -hmm. if you put a line down and the ball rolls from this yeah. distance, from this distance, if you put a line down and the line is, is aimed at the part of the hole you need to, yep. I mean, it wouldn't matter where I stood. If I hit the ball and make the line roll, it's going in. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you get focused on make the line roll. Yeah, so because once the line's up, because a lot of times people, like, you know, when they get into, let me start it over this blade of grass, you try to be so perfect. But yeah, if you're just trying to make get a tumble. Roll. If it tumbles yeah. Yeah. from three feet and you've aimed the line right, it's yeah. going in. You're picking it out of the hole. <laughs> you're not cool. missing. All right. Thanks, Mike. What a day. Yeah, it was great. Awesome. That was about um, six hours of filming <laughs> that this, that this uh, marathon man did with me. But it's going to turn into many, many videos. One of the videos is going to be on this thing called the source of power, Mike's little part about um, creating speed. We did some cool things. The last thing, I don't want you to leave before Mike told me that I was in the top 10 of 
handle yankers, handle poolers of uh, decent players that, he, that he's given lessons to. So give me a drill. Give me a drill I can take to California that um, it was something that would really work well. Well, well, well I'm first, doing the flamingo drill. The flamingo drill, which you yeah. did, is really good. And the yeah. other thing is a concept. More than set up. More than a drill, a concept. More than yeah. a drill, it's a concept. Yep. Get up to the top of your swing. Make your backswing. Okay. Mm -hmm. This handle, when you start down, yeah. This handle has to feel like that it's going away from you this way and down. Uh. If this handle feels any of this, if it feels forward yeah. at all, we're in trouble. Ben Hogan used to pull an arrow out of a quiver. Yeah, or when, when guys on tour say down, yeah. they're pulling the handle down. Yeah. They're not pulling it forward. No. You, you pull forward. I do, yeah. If when you start down, the handle needs to feel like it actually moves away from you, yep. and then it goes. So you go forward, it needs to stay here and go there. So a good recipe for this would be a lot of those 60%, 65% swing where I'm really feeling it. Yeah. yeah. You know, a lot of different places have, have described it different ways. Some feel their right arm elongates, some feel the handle moves away from them. The golf machine used to talk about pulling a quiver out of a, out of a thing on your shoulder. Because most people, if they get to the top as you, yeah. and you're trying to clear your hips and hold this angle, well, if, if you do that and you go this way with it, it's going to yeah. be hard to catch it up. Mm -hmm. If you go down here with it and you, you, for lack of a better term, lag or this angle maintains itself and you're doing it back in here and you do it here, you can catch the face up. If you do it forward, it becomes much more difficult yeah. to catch the face up. It's a really good thought and I'll be able to, to watch that. If you guys, uh, where can people learn about you? Give us, give us some good plugs. Malaska. Well, yeah. we've got our YouTube channel, which is Mike Malaska. Mm -hmm. and a link by, in the description right here. Yeah, and then at the end of the, yeah, probably the 1st of November, there'll be a learning site up. It's going to be called MalaskaGolf.com. Oh, cool. And it's a, it's a whole subscription site relative to everything we're doing here. Awesome. So it's going to be really nice. It's taken me about five years and about a half a million dollars. To put dollars. the curri curriculum together and then and the, the, the yeah. setup. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Somebody was just asking on the Instagram. They said they... They were buying into it completely, and they wanted to know: Is there a path or a specific? There is. There it is. is, and and that's coming out within the next couple of weeks. In the next couple of weeks, on so MalaskaGolf.com. I'll be there. You guys be there too. Check it out. All right, bye. Bye bye. Thank you.